Hey guys, welcome back to Japan. I just got back a couple days ago. I'm still extremely jet lagged, so please excuse my tiredness, but very excited because now that I'm back, I can finally open my lucky bags. If you guys have been following my channel for a while now, you know what lucky bags are. If you are new, I will do a quick explanation. Lucky bags are basically the best part about New Year's in Japan. What they are is a big bag of random goods. You don't know what's inside and every New Year's, January 1st, the majority of stores in Japan, but mainly clothing stores, will put together these surprise bags with leftover clothing that didn't sell throughout the winter or sometimes there's brand new items that were designed specifically for the lucky bags and it's just a huge rush at the shopping malls because everybody loves buying these bags and they're lots of fun and they're usually a really good deal. A bag like this will generally cost about $100 and there'll be several people pieces of clothing inside uh, worth a lot more than the price you pay for it, but you're taking a risk because you have no idea what's in there. You don't know if it's gonna look good on you. Don't know if it'll be your style. You don't know if it'll fit, but it's a lot of fun and it only happens once a year. So this year I got four different clothing bags. This first one is from a Japanese brand called Murua. And second one is also a Japanese brand called Snidal. This one is from L, and I've actually never purchased any clothing from L. Never tried out their lucky bag, so I don't really know what'll be in this one. And last but not least, we have Spiral Girl, another Japanese fashion brand. Spiral Girl is actually one of the shops that I have purchased items from in the past, so I have high hopes for this one. I think I will like some of the things inside, but we said that about Mousy one year, and it was just ridiculously bad, so <laughs> you never know. You never know what you're gonna get with these bags. Now that I've said that, I'm scared that it's just gonna be horrible, but why don't we start off with Spiral Girl. They have packed this solid. <laughs> this is full of so many things. I paid 10,000 yen for this bag, approximately $100. Let's see what's inside. Oh, I see lots of neutral colors, which is good. Oh, this looks like a sweater dress. This could be cute. Oh, hey, that could be really nice. It's a long sweater dress. It's got a cute back to it. Some strappy detailing, round neck in the front, long sleeves, and it looks like it'll probably go down to maybe like mid calf length and then be like tight and form fitting. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. <laughs> I think that'll fit me too. The size looks just about right. Oh, and they've got a price tag on this dress. The original price was 6,900 yen. So we've already covered over half of the price of the lucky bag with that one item. Next is another beige sweater. Oh, what is going on here? <laughs> the back is like draped and open. Like this part is completely open. Don't know if I would wear that. Maybe with like a tank top underneath or something. It's not something I would normally pick, but it looks like size wise, it will probably fit me. So that's cool. And the price on this one is 4,900 yen. So we've already covered the 10,000 yen cost of the bag with those two sweaters. Ooh, next is a jacket. I really like that. This must be expensive. 9,900 yen is the price on this coat. It's very soft. I can definitely see myself wearing that. There are so many things in this bag. We're just getting started. Some kind of red shirt. Oh, a red tank top. That's cute. I would definitely wear that in the summer. I'm really surprised that was in those bags. They're normally winter clothes. But that's cute. Yeah, I really like that. We're doing well, guys. I like the stuff. <laughs> this doesn't happen. <laughs> Normally, I don't have much luck with these bags because they are one size fits all, generally. And um, one size fits all in Japan is usually pretty small. Okay, so this next piece is a burnt orange color. I don't think that's a flattering color on me, unfortunately. I've never purchased anything in this color. Um, but let's see what it is. Maybe I'll give it a shot. 
what is going on? What is that? I think it's like a fake turtleneck attachment to the top of a really baggy sweatshirt dress. Yeah, no, this, this would look so bad on me. <laughs> the sleeves look like this. Oh my God, that would just be so unflattering. It doesn't have any shape to it. And like I said, the color just doesn't look good <laughs> with my skin tone and hair color. So this one is a definite no from me. Uh, 5,900 yen is the price on that. Wait, it comes with something. A belt, I guess. Oh, well, to give it some shape, maybe. Still can't imagine that being cute. It's a very colorful bag. Next, we have a green item. Looks like pants or a skirt, maybe? Oh, it's a very soft, silky material. A long, long green skirt that is very small. <laughs> that is a very tiny waist. It does have an elastic at the back, so it could stretch a bit, but even stretched out, I think that would be pretty tight on me. It's got a really interesting hemline. It's shorter in the front, kind of like PC and flowy. Darn, that could be really cute if it fit me, but I don't think it's going to. Next we have yellow. I like this color. That's a pretty color. They were sure generous with the amount of items they put in their bag this year. Oh, this is weird. It's a very baggy sweater. It's super soft. But it's got this like thick belt on the bottom um, and it does up with clips. Mm, not sure about the shape. <laughs> it's very wide and probably not gonna be very flattering on me. I prefer more form-fitting things, but I'll give it a shot. I do like the color and the material is really soft. I think we are down to our last couple items. We have some charm thing. What the heck is this? I'm very confused. Oh, it's a necklace. Wow, that's a little, it's a little too wild for me. <laughs> I don't think I would wear that. 2,900 yen is the price on this eccentric necklace. And last but not, oh no, wait, there's two more things. A hat, a straw hat. No, I think this one will go in the donation pile. I don't even think this will fit on my giant head. Yeah, it's a little snug. <laughs> I've got an abnormally large head, so I have trouble finding hats that fit me. Could have been cute if it fit. And last, we have a, oh, a belt. This is cute. Cool, it's a really simple blue and gold belt. I'll definitely use that if the size works for me. That's really nice. 1,900 yen. The total cost of these items must be way over what I paid for the bag. And I think this year's Spiral Girl is a thumbs up for me. Cool, we're off to a good start. Which one should we open next? Um, let's go with L because I'm really curious to see what is inside there. Don't know what kind of clothes they have or what to expect really from this one. This bag was also 10,000 yen, same price as the Spiral Girl bag. I ordered all these online because I wasn't at home for New Year's Day. The Lucky Bags only go on sale in the stores on January 1st every year. So if you're not gonna be at home, you can have them delivered to your house in Japan. So that's pretty handy. Again, lots of neutral looking colors. Happy to see that. It's like a white sweater. Hmm. Very simple white sweater. Oh, but the sleeves are like bell bottom, but they're short. I'm not sure about that. I would probably roll those up. I feel like that would look really strange. If they were long and that came to your wrist, that could be cute, but that's gonna be like at my forearm. And I think that'll just look strange. This one will probably go in the donate pile. 
it looks like they don't have prices on the items in their lucky bag. That's unfortunate. So we don't really know how much that one's worth. Another burnt orange item. I feel like I like this shade a little more than the last weird sweatshirt dress. What is this one? It's a sweater, very nice material, super soft. Oh, interesting sleeves. It's got this little knot on the end of the sleeves. That's cute. I like that. Super high quality material. This feels amazing. This would be so comfy. I really hope this one looks all right. Again, I'm not too sure about this burnt orange color, but I will give this one a shot because I really like the feel of it. Oh, really large jacket, I'm assuming. Wow. Oh, this is really nice. It's a long black pea coat. And again, the material feels super high quality. Oh, I really hope this fits. I love this. The neck looks like this. And it's got a tie up waist. I think it will fit. Let's try it now over my hoodie. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be perfect. Cause I can get it over this big chunky hoodie. I love it. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I will definitely get use out of this jacket. I was actually considering buying a black pea coat, but I couldn't find one that I liked. And this one's very simple and I think it'll work with lots of my clothes. And I just love the material it's made out of. Super soft and it feels really good quality. The last item in the bag is a piece of jewelry, which unfortunately I will be allergic to. I can't wear any metal jewelry that isn't pure gold, which is too bad because this is really pretty. I love gold jewelry and it's really simple. Well, there were only four items in that L bag. What a difference between the two. But with that really nice black pea coat inside, I think that was worth my 10,000 yen and I'm super happy with it again. So we've got two awesome bags this year so far. I will open my last two lucky bags in another video. So stay tuned for that guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.